I've put this video in the fail archive because I traveled 130 miles to return home with footage that wasn't easily usable. I had hoped to spend the night in a tomb by myself, but was instead greeted by a place which was busy with other folk who, like me, wanted to sample a piece of this majestic site. However, I can't call this an outright failure as I got to visit a location that had long been on my bucket list. As well as that, I got to experience and record a pagan ritual which in itself made the journey worthwhile. Whilst the footage I did capture is far from perfect, it may actually be a better documentation of this location than that which I would have captured by myself. West Kennet Long Barrow is a Neolithic burial chamber built around 3600 BC. It was used as a burial chamber for approximately 50 people. Interestingly, the mass mound of earth called Silbury Hill, which can be seen nearby, has long been the sighting of UFOs. Both Silbury Hill and the tomb itself exude an air of wonder and mystique in a way that allow you to feel an almost palpable energy. This is a very mystical place full of energy. This whole geographical landscape holds mystical powers with Avebury Stone Circle approximately a mile away with several other barrows and stone circles and Neolithic monuments to the dead littering the local landscape. All of these ancient archaeological wonders point to the fact of a deaf cult and a civilization much more advanced than we often recognize. I am at Avebury, West Kennet, Long Barrow and it's getting dark very quickly. Nice to be here to see the sunset. It's a beautiful, magical place. Standing at 131 feet tall, the man-made structure of Silbury Hill is an imposing sight. The origins and purpose have been lost to us in time and that fact only adds to the mystery and to the stories which have attached themselves to this strange and awe-inspiring landscape. The camera doesn't do justice to Silbury Hill. It is absolutely massive. You're on a full moon. It is said to sit upon a ley line and to be a hot spot of UFO activities if you search the internet, you can find many, many stories, newspaper reportings of UFO sightings and strange goings on. Not to mention the crop circles that crop up, pardon the pun, regularly around the whole Avebury and Wiltshire area. You may have seen at the start of this video a man doing dowsing 
There was actually a lady with him. They proceeded after doing dowsing to do some kind of pagan or Wiccan drum and bow ceremony. Anyway, I captured that. It was quite a good experience. And I apologise for the sound of my leather motorbike suit. Again, just another reason why I've considered this footage as a failure. But it is what it is. I wasn't exactly sure what I was witnessing, but I know I liked it and I kept quiet out of respect and reverence. As my phone bleeps, I am reminded that modernity is forever encroaching upon the forever and eternal in favour of the convenience of the here and now, and that those things eternal which lay at the depth of our beings as spiritual creatures are often not observed due to our bias towards the transitory things which appear only upon the surface. I didn't want to intrude on these people, but in hindsight, I should have asked and actually filmed more of them, more of their ceremony. Doing a ceremony, are you? Sort of. Yeah, pagan ceremony. Yeah, yeah. So flower boots, so. It's oh, good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's quite powerful. Yeah, this place, this site is, isn't it? It's fun. Just right. Is it alright to, fi to film in there? Yeah, of course. Oh, she's out. <laughs> Don't be whatever you have to do. Oh, you carry on doing what you're doing.
West Kennet Long Barrow is a house of the dead. And this ritual, being a flower ritual, one can only assume is in commemoration of the dead who were once housed here. The bones of the dead may have long since been removed, but the mystique and the rituals remain. I must also mention that this place is reputedly haunted, which with its associations to death is not at all surprising. I had hoped to do some filming on my own 
and as I waited for this couple to leave, another couple of people arrived. So after staying there for a few hours, chilling out, getting a rest, in the early hours of the morning, I decided to head back to the motorbike and ride the 130 miles home. And that was my adventure in Avebury, in West Kennet Long Barrow Burial Chamber.